So we're here with uh, Trevor and Pamela Blackshaw, and they were here in the late 90s to the early noughties. Uh, it's been said of them that they had a heart for spiritual and pastoral care. And Pamela, who's going to tell us some more later, was greatly, uh, greatly encouraged and coordinated the home intercessor work here. So um, perhaps you can start by telling us a little bit about your time here. There were some challenges. Could you perhaps tell us what you did to overcome them? Yes, uh, it was, first of all, it was a great privilege to come and serve here. And uh, we were very happy to do so. Um, amongst the challenge, we had a very good start, um, financially too, because uh, we received a very important legacy because one of the big challenges was the need to refurbish the whole kitchen. So we were able to achieve that. Also, um, there wasn't really a proper room facilities for disabled people. And we had two really renovated with wet, room, wet rooms and ramps uh, for easy access. Um, amongst other things, um, in raise, as time went on, of course, funds get eaten away. Um, numbers did decline or vary a little bit. So we began to incorporate uh, training weeks um, and developed the whole ministry of prayer ministry with guests to uh, a greater degree. And finally, in that whole area in raising funds, um, I took on myself to run a marathon in 2002 for London one and we raised over ten thousand pounds wow that's fantastic can i ask what your time was <laughs> um it was just under four and a half hours that's very good very good yeah so um perhaps you can tell us a little bit more about the work that you did amongst the home intercessors and i know there were some other things you did as well art room the water feature the prayer walk perhaps you could just briefly talk about some of those oh and but we've had a comment from someone sue everly says hello oh, so she obviously remembers you <laughs> so yeah please tell us about some of the things you did while you were here it was a joy to discover that i had an opportunity to take on the intercessors which were called home intercessors in those days it was um already begun and also they already had people praying for the rooms for when guests came in so every room was paid for so it was good to take that on um, although I'm dyslexic and have help of a secretary here I used to do newsletters to the home intercessors and they used to pray for a number of things I also, we also set up once a year because previously they had come together once a year and we did home intercessors that came together, gatherings. I think I did about three and in those I taught a lot about intercession because I found many people didn't know very much about intercession or how to pray in groups. So that was very interesting and it was wonderful to see how people developed. Mm -hmm. And one lady I met about, I think it was two or three years ago, said she still listened to the tapes. But, and that was such a wonderful mm -hmm. privilege. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So um, the other thing I did, um, I oversaw the um, house. Mm -hmm. And in the kitchen, we decided that too much food was being wasted. So we brought in where guests shared the night before and signed up to what they wanted. And they're still going today. So mm -hmm. that's great. Mm -hmm. And I see lots of other conference centres and places do that as well now. Yeah. So that was a great joy. The other thing was... Um, I liked art and as part of my duties I used to keep an eye on the art room and really wanted something to develop there and we had um, somebody used to come in and we started 
craft and art weeks where lots of people came in. And from that, Maggie, we discovered Maggie Freeman was working here. She became and did one afternoon a week and then it developed after we left into a full-time ministry. It should have been such a joy. Yeah, it must be oh, such a joy prayer. as well to see the art room as it is it's today, true. knowing yeah. that that's something that you yeah. sort of set the wheels mm. going on. Just yeah. The prayer walks. And the prayer walks? Was and that... the prayer walks. Mm. We had um, somebody that said, they'd like to leave a legacy, mm. what would you like to do? And this artist that came in, had the same visions as I did about prayer walks, so then they would develop. Mm -hmm. And I know they bought many, many blessings mm -hmm. for people. Uh, yeah. And the Mary Sisters plaques were put up at that time as yes. well. No, the prayer walks certainly are a, a real blessing. So perhaps just to finish with, you could update us briefly on what you've been doing since Crowhurst. Um. Well, when we first went back, we had quite an adjustment mm. after being at such a tremendous place and, con and, and being very active in the ministry. So though we did a little bit, um, we, the, the healing ministry as a whole uh, went fairly quiet. But other things grew up and, in fact, uh, replaced, not replaced it, but extends from that. Um, and one of the main things that uh, we've been able to uh, to do is um, um, be involved with a, a market stall outreach. It began as one morning a week, which somebody else had started previously. We joined them and helped them out and used to meet on Wednesday mornings. It's for prayer for a quiet time in the middle of the market. It was open air, so weather conditions really affected it. Mm -hmm but also it was time for praying for healing too and listening to people. Um, more recently, we last year, we were offered the opportunity of having an indoor market store and that's become very much more comfortable. Um, it's quiet at times, but other times it's quite thrilling. The number of people will stop and say hello and ask questions and we can share with them. So that's an ongoing outreach work. On the... Uh, interest areas. Um, one mad thing I did was to finish off a theology degree uh, and uh, I attained that but I had to put it on hold slightly because they classified it as a second degree and as I already hadn't got one I was doing one in preparing one in uh, wildlife and countryside management and uh, achieved a second um, honours degree in that. Um, other things which I particularly was involved with was um, um, I was for a time, a short time, took over an interregnum and came out of retirement for 18 months. Um, and combined with that also, um, following through a lot of interest with uh, uh, conservation work, particularly birds. But uh, uh, I also had worked previously one of the mission agency called Crosslinks, and I was invited to join their council and was on it for three years. Mm -hmm. So you've not stopped really. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have now. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your time. Yeah. Uh, it's been really appreciated.